Welcome to Zero to Token. This is a series where we're flipping from zero gold all the way up to a token, seeing how long it takes us and everything that is involved with making it. So we're on episode number eight at the moment. Um, last episode, we got up to like 900 and like 80 gold. I think it was, let's just check it here. We had 989 gold in liquid gold. Um, we had some really, really good sales. And then also we have 1K worth of materials and flipping items up on the auction house at the moment. Uh, so we've got some really good items that should sell fairly quickly also. So we're looking very, very good for the challenge. Now that we've got a decent amount of gold to invest, we should start to see um, the gold grow a lot quicker. Obviously the first few days where we start off with zero gold or we had like 10 gold or 20 gold or even 100 gold, um, it's hard to make a lot of profit when you don't invest much but now that we've got close to like 1k gold a decent amount to invest we should be able to see the profits come in a lot more a lot quicker and for a lot more gold um, it's like a snowball effect basically the more things the more gold you invest obviously the more gold you can make back uh, and now that we've got a little bit of gold to work with instead of like 10 gold and like in episode one uh, we should be able to see the gold grow a lot quicker so what we're going to do right now is we're going to run a shopping scan and we're going to first we'll do it on just materials and then i think we're going to run some on the recipes the boe gear the pets the mounts and the twink items we'll run some scans on all of those and um, buy any items in there that are worth buying and we'll also do the materials so i think what we'll do is we'll just actually we might actually just run them all together so there's one thousand 341 items to scan. We'll let the scan go through. We we'll, might um, buy the items as we go along, um, as they pop up, just so we don't miss anything, because we're doing a bit bigger scan here. Like for example, these right here, these mantras, they're a really good deal. So what we could do is we could obviously buy these 12 stacks at that price, um, which we do want to do. And then we could relist or unlist our 18 that we have posted already for that price. And we could buy it up to here but then again there's only um, two silver difference between the next lot so technically we'd have to buy it out all the way down to here which we're not going to be buying this right here which has 97 stacks of 20 um, so that is actually a no-go but for an example uh, we'll let this keep scanning out and we'll buy anything that meets the criterias uh, so we'll obviously be looking at the the market value, the region market value average, and the region sale average. If the, the buy price, so the min buyout, is below all three of them um, TSM like data sources, then it'll be worth buying. We'll also look at the uh, sell rate, make sure it's got a decent sell rate. But we'll let the scan go through. Our main goal will be try to spend all 900 gold. So we want to spend all of it. Um, that way it can be making more gold for us. There's no point having it sitting in our inventory when our goal is to get a token. Um, we're better off spending it all and then we can make more gold back from the gold that we actually invest in it. Here's a nice little flip here, which someone beat us to it. Someone was very, very quick. They were probably using the TSM sniper tool to um, get that real cheap for before we could. However, we're gonna let the scan go through We'll buy all the good items that meet the criteria from the flipping guide and we'll get everything up in the auction house. So the auction house is currently sitting at 1,071 gold. We'll see what it ends up sitting at after we spend this 989 gold on more investments. Um, so we'll see how we go. All right, so we've spent a little bit of the gold. We're down to 472 gold. We brought a whole heap of pets, so companions, a whole heap of them for really good prices. And also two twink items. So we got this one right here, the Nightwatch Short Sword. Uh, we got it for 49 gold. Should be able to get anywhere from 100 to 150 gold for it. Then the Razor's Edge, we should be able to get 20 to 50 gold for that. We paid 10 gold. Then we got all these mounts right here. Ah, all these pets. Let's go ahead and actually grab all these out. All right, very nice. So what we're going to do next is just run a shopping scan on just the materials we still haven't done recipes maybe we'll do recipes actually first uh, and then we'll do the materials and spend the rest of the gold and get everything posted up the auction house 
All right, so we got some plans and patterns and recipes. So we've got 55 of those, a whole heap of them. Uh, let's go ahead and collect that. Now what we'll do is we'll spend the rest of the gold on, materi on materials. Now we'll get everything posted up on the auction house and we'll check out the total value of the auction house. Okay, so we're done posting everything up in the auction house. We have four gold left over. Um, let's check out the total worth of the auction house. All right, so my auction house, my auctions. Ooh, damn, 6.4K. So we're looking really, really good here. We've got a lot of really good materials. We've got actually 1,215 listings. Some of them are like listings of quantity size one, three, five, 10, and 20s. And we've got a whole heap of stuff now. So we're looking really, really good. So we'll be back in a few hours and we'll see what sales we've got and how much gold we have made. Alrighty, let's jump back on Buffy Token and we'll see how we went over the last few hours. All right, let's go ahead, open up the mailbox. So we have all our expired listings. So let's go ahead and get out all of those. And we'll post everything up in the auction house. And we'll also, um, after that, we'll see how much gold um, in sales we have made. All right, so we have been posting a few things. We need to get a little bit of gold out of the mailbox to continue listing. So we'll go ahead and we'll just grab uh, these modes of shadows right here. So let's go ahead and we'll just collect this full page. Uh, that should give us enough gold to post everything up on the auction house. All right, so I think we're up to just gold in the mailbox. Let's go ahead and clear it all out. So we're sitting at 16 silver. Um, let's go ahead and open all the mail. So we have over 100 gold in the first little bit. If it's all sales, we might have 350 sales, which will be a lot of gold. Uh, there could be some items though. We'll have to go through it and we'll see what we've got. Um, so mainly materials. Oh, we sold a whole heap of the relics um, for 17 gold each. That's pretty nice. Oh, the next lot is 250. So we got some bigger sales, definitely bigger sales in this lot. 300. It's looking really good. Um, what have we? What else have we got here? What else have we got? Terracone. Heaps of the relics. So we managed to sell all of these relics of Aldera, which is really, really good. You can actually post them. Oh, what have we got here? I missed it. We sold a pet and some braces, did we? Where was that? Oh, a plan. Very nice. 30 gold for that plan right there. And we got a pet under it. So we're already at 200 gold. We've got another 350 gold waiting in the mailbox, plus about another 90 mails to open after that. So I'm thinking we're going to, well, we're definitely going across the 500 mark. I wonder if we can get up to 1,000 gold. Um, we definitely will be over 500, that is for sure. We'll have to wait and see what's in the last, the last 130 mails. And there is, 500 very nice let's go and keep going up and up let's have a look at some of the items here uh, moss a gate some fade leaf we sold all that light leather wow we brought a whole heap of that last episode so by the looks of it we're going to end up at about 700 gold roughly which is absolutely awesome so what we'll do is we'll post the rest of the items we will do a shopping scan and we'll go ahead and buy more items to flip back up on the auction house and then we'll check out the total worth of the auction house once we're done all of that so we ended up the mailbox clear out for the last few hours at 701 gold so very nice um, let's go ahead and remove that don't even know what's there but let's go ahead and post up the remaining items get these all up on the auction house all right, so we're just buying some items there, trying to spend all the gold. We've got 76 gold left. Uh, we just had two massive sales on some of the pets. So on the hatchling, we paid 50 gold for this. We just resold it for 69 gold. And then the pet bombling, 
we paid 69 gold and resold it for 89 gold just then. So some nice sales coming in. Uh, we got most of the things that were worth buying, mainly materials, a few uh, pets there. So what we'll do is we'll collect everything and we'll get everything posted up on the auction house and we'll check out the wealth of the auction house. So here are the items that we got. Holy put the mana thistles. Um, what else? Holy put grave moss. Just materials that were worth buying that were way under price. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab all those. We also got a few pets. Um, but yeah, we'll get it all up in the auction house and we'll see what we're sitting at. All right, there is the first inventory. We'll get that up all in the auction house. All right, so we're done posting everything up on the auction house. Let's check out the total worth. Very, very nice. Ooh, we have 195 gold in sales coming in. Very nice. It, so it's six uh, 6,438. So if we were to sell all of this, we would have enough for the token. Obviously, we're going to need a bit more auction house wealth to actually sell everything. If it's just mostly materials, we should only need like 10K and we should be able to, uh, like 10K listed and we should be able to get the the 5k for the token very very quickly and easily uh, so we got some really good items here now we're stacking up the items um, which is really good considering just a week ago we had zero gold and now we've got 6,400 worth listed up in the auction house uh, which is really 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 nice all right so i think this is where we're going to end this episode right here if you'd like to learn how to flip on wrath classic on and on retail in a real in-depth guide. I have my flipping guide which will teach you exactly that. It also will teach you how to set up all the add-ons like TSM, um, how to import my TSM groups and operations for flipping so you can have all these groups with uh, all the items that I recommend. So all these groups are right here and the operations to go with them. So if you have the guide, you'll simply just come to here. You'll put in the code, the import string from the flipping guide and then you'll have all my groups with their operations you can also do that for retail also however guys if you are enjoying the series hit that thumbs up button i reckon in the next couple of days maybe or the next few episodes we should be able to reach the gold um, it's really really multiplying now that we have enough gold to invest into some decent items uh, to make even more gold so we'll come back tomorrow i think and we'll see how much of them items have sold and what we're sitting at till next one guys take care